All right, guys, I just got two brand new Zeta locks straight from the manufacturer in Taiwan, a Zoo 55 and a Za 70. Uh, he sent a little letter here, uh, I guess you can call it a letter, probably went out to a bunch of different lock pickers, but anyway, great fan of yours, blah, blah, blah. Hope they're qualified to be in the Naughty Bucket uh, Zeta padlock from Dean. I got to tell you guys, both lock picking lawyer and I have been frustrated with a Zeta padlock that I've had for a couple of years. And um, LPL's theory is that they have a sidebar or a double sidebar, and we neither of us have been very lucky in picking these guys. I don't know if you can see that through the package. See if I can rip this. So the the keyway is not super accessible. And let me grab the keys. It looks to be a normal dimple lock, but I can tell you it is not from all the. Uh, the experimentation with this guy. These are very, very nice locks. Very high quality, very nice fit. A lot of precision. You can just feel it. This thing turns not quite 90 degrees, kind of swings around there. And we get an open. So pretty cool. So I'm going to continue this with, um, I'll obviously try to pick this, but I don't hold a lot of hope based on all the hours I've got invested in the other Zeta, which was a, probably an earlier version. Here's what the bidding looks like. So I don't know if Dean picked out this bidding or what, but that's what we ended up with. I'm going to continue with the theory that every lock has a weakness. You've got to find it. And I can tell you the materials, fit and finish, are not the weakness here. The core is probably not the weakness here. What is that? There's nothing in there to get under. That's probably some kind of assembly doodad. So here's my theory. <laughs> and I'm scratching at the bottom of the barrel. I'm looking at this core, then I'm wondering if we took this guy and ran a screw in there and used a slam hammer, could we just pop that core out? Did they think ahead and reinforce the cores on these locks? These, these have different core retention mechanisms, so maybe both, maybe one, maybe none will yield. Let's find out. Let me clamp it up and let's see what we can do. I hate to ruin a good lock, but... I got to see if there's a weakness. God. All right, I've broken off one, the head of one screw. This is the second one, and it's a little bit longer than I think it should be, but it's the only one I have in hand. Almost. Let me put that screw back in there and let's try it again. This time it went in a little further. And there we go. All right, guys, it looks like the entire core is held in by a single screw, and that's what that hole right there was. That's how the core is held in. So if I unscrewed that, the core would have popped out. Of course, when it's locked, you can't access that. So when we pop the core out, you can see on the back here, this is the part when we pop that out, that's what sheared off. So the retention screw sheared off the back of this cast metal core, and that allowed the entire core to pop right out. Not as neatly as I would have hoped because I didn't use a hardened screw the first time. But uh, anyway, the, the bottom of it's all boogered up, but the top of it is where the pins go in. So let's take a look and see what we got. Oh, by the way, it is a sidebar design. Had this off to the side. It popped out onto the floor, and there's where it fits. So LPL was 100% right. It is a single sidebar design, which probably explains why using light tension wasn't working. All right, let's pop this off. Let's take a look at some of these pins. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> All right, well, luckily, it looks like the only thing that popped out were the springs and the top plate. I think the pins are still in there. <laughs> All right, so I think you can see this works a lot like an ASA sidebar. 
Those other ones must be jammed up in there with the screw, but it works a lot like the Asa sidebar. I thought there was one more, but it doesn't matter. Um, you can see they each have a cut, so when we get to the right depth, that little cut is where the sidebar fits into, these little grooves. So that is the only way. So putting heavy, heavy tension on this core rather than light tension is probably about the only way you're going to be able to get any feedback if you can get access to the keyway, which is pretty difficult, I got to tell you. Anyway, the question is, this has a different retention mechanism. I wonder if this one will pop out as easily as that one. Baby.